Good day STEM students. Today I will discuss to you the problem in activity 1 and, and in activity 8 entitled the earthquake protocol. So the problem goes like this. <clears throat> Suppose an earthquake can be felt up to 80 miles from its epicenter and you are located at a point 60 miles west and 45 miles south of the epicenter. Do you feel the earthquake? If so, how many miles south would you, have, would you have to travel to be out of the range of the earthquake? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to determine what are the given. So I will let the epicenter be at the origin. Basically, the epicenter serves as the center of the circle and the location of the epicenter is at this point and the problem states that the earthquake can be felt up to 80 miles from its epicenter so meaning if this is the epicenter the coverage of the earthquake is 80 miles from this epicenter so suppose it's 80 miles 80 miles 80 miles 80 miles so this is the coverage of the earthquake now Therefore, the 80 miles serves as the radius of the circle. And you are located at a point 60 miles west and 45 miles south of the epicenter. So if I will locate your location using a Cartesian plane, and I will assume that each unit is equivalent to 10 miles, so 60 miles west, is actually along negative x-axis and 45 miles south is actually along the negative y-axis because this part here is the north this is the east this is the west and this is the south so 60 miles west okay along negative 6 and 45 miles south this is 10 miles, 20, 30, 40, so 45 miles is approximately here. Thus, this is your location. And the question, if you are located at this point, can you feel the earthquake? So one way to solve for this problem is to get, this is your point, is the epicenter, is to get the distance from the epicenter to your location then we will compare that distance to the radius of the given circle if the distance is less than 80 miles then obviously you are within the coverage of the circle thus you can feel the earthquake but if the distance is greater than the radius are greater than 80 miles then you are out of the coverage of the earthquake meaning you cannot feel the earthquake so let's solve the distance from the epicenter to your location using the distance formula I hope you can still remember the distance formula distance formula is equivalent to the square root of the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared oh I'm so sorry uh, yeah. plus the quantity of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared okay now I will take the epicenter as my x sub 1 and y sub 1 and my location as x sub 2 and y sub 2 so this is negative uh, this is negative 60 negative 45 and the coordinate of the epicenter is actually 0 0 okay I will substitute the values of x sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 1, and y sub 2. So you have 
x sub 2 that's negative 45 minus 0 quantity squared plus y sub 2 oh. mm -hmm. For x sub 2 is negative 60 minus x sub 1 0 squared plus y sub 2 is negative 45 minus 0 squared simplify this is negative 60 squared plus negative 45 squared and this is approximately so I will use a calculator negative 60 squared plus squared plus mm -hmm. negative 45 squared that's 5625 take the square root of that answer so the distance is 75 and obviously 75 is less than 80 therefore yes you can feel the earth quick okay now the alternative way of solving this problem is just using the standard form or the equation of the circle given center at the origin radius 80 so the equation is x squared plus y squared and you will use the inequality should be less than 80 squared your x is negative 60 and your y is negative 45 you substitute that here so negative 60 squared plus negative 45 squared is it less than or greater than 80 squared and that's uh, 5000 that mm -hmm. 60 squared plus 45 squared that's actually 5625 and that's obviously less than 6000 400 and still yes you can feel the earthquake okay now for the second question if you can feel the earthquake how many miles south would you have to travel to be out of the range of the earthquake basically the question means that if you are within the coverage of the earthquake for example, that's the coverage of the earthquake. How many miles south would you have to travel in order for you to be out of the range of the earthquake? Meaning, I need to solve for the y value of this point. Considering that if this point, the coordinate of this point is negative 60, negative 45, then the coordinate of this point is negative 60 and the y is unknown. I need to solve for this y so how I'm going to solve for this y it's easy by using this equation you substitute the value of x y is unknown and 80 serves as the radius then we will compare the val this val y value and the y value here at this point at your original location you will subtract the y value here and the y value here you subtract then in order for you to get out of the coverage of the earthquake then you need to have more than the this more than this distance just subtract the y value here and the y value here okay to fully understand 
the solution. So I will erase now this one. I hope you already understand that solution. Okay. So from the standard, from the equation of a circle centered at the origin, radius 80. X is given as negative 60 squared. Y is unknown. And that's 6,400. Okay. And this is 3,600 plus Y squared is equivalent to 6,000. 400. So y squared is equivalent to 6,400 minus 6,400 minus 3,600. That's 2,800. You take the square of both sides. So y is actually equivalent to 52.92. Approximately 52.92 miles. Okay. So therefore, for me to get out of the coverage of the earthquake, then I need... Then I need to travel... I will subtract 52.92 minus 45. So 52.92 minus 45 that's equivalent to 7.92 then I need to travel need to therefore I need to travel more than 7.92 miles from my location and that's it now I want you to compare our solution then if you will get the same solution as mine then meaning you fully understand the lesson and for those students who did not get the correct answer please take time to search for more examples we have an ample of examples in YouTube or feel free to comment your questions and clarifications in the discussion board. So with that, I hope you understood the discussion and once again, good day everyone.